Today we're testing TikTok hacks one more time before this app gets banned. Guys, I guarantee you, this is the last episode I will ever make of TikTok hacks because it's getting banned soon. So I picked the best Minecraft hacks in the entire world that I have not covered. And you guys are gonna have your minds blown today. You're gonna love this one. And I say I'm testing viral TikToks. I mean, I'm testing 700,000 hearts in 24 hours. This is nuclear levels of virality. And look what this guy does. So he's showing you like a little infinite water source. All right, teasing you a little bit. This is for all of our potion brewmasters, especially you bedrock players. It works in Java, but bedrock are going to have a heyday with this one. Puts a sticky piston so that it pulls the cauldron, and then he's putting water above it in the staircase, right? And blocks it off. There's water in that. He pushed the button to auto refill his cauldron. Your boy made an auto cauldron refiller, which is so useful for potion brewing, but I think we can actually do a little something special to improve it. So watch this. All right, guys, here's our new base. You walk inside, you got uh, pretty much nothing here, except what we are gonna have is this magic little cauldron filler. So I don't know if it's gonna actually work at all. And I'm really excited to see because this sounds so incredible. So he's literally putting water in this block and then a piece of wood over it. One of the weirdest things ever. And I don't know if it even works in Java, so we're about to find out. Okay, well, I don't, is, is the water still in there? Let's break this and just make for confirm. It is, it is, okay. Okay, so here's the little build. We can close this up real quick and watch. We push it and ours actually didn't refill. Interesting. All right, guys. So on the Minecraft Java edition, it feels like it feels like it doesn't work. All right. It feels like if you take down a cauldron and put water above it, at least on Java, it doesn't work. You guys need to test this for me and tell me in the comments below, does it work? All right. So here we've got a cool guy. He says, how to make a particle trail in Minecraft. He's trying to make a heart particle and he makes it very difficult to actually read, but he, he made a heart particle. You can see there. So that's for your boy lover fella. I like what I saw. All right. We're going to switch it up because we ain't no noob. We're going out to a private island out here to, to put this in. All right. So uh, we in Java for this one. There ain't no particle effect here in Java. Guys, it, you don't understand the amount of work I just put in to convert a bedrock command to Java. I don't even know if it's going to work, but it's not red. So I feel a little bit excited about this. I might have actually done it. Guys, we did it. We did it. We made it work. I'm so impressed. Basically, this is the Java version of the command. You guys can pause this if you want to do it in Java, but there's so many different particles you can do. Guys, try this one out. It works on Java and bedrock. On to the next one, which is even better. Now, this, what I'm about to show you guys is a dangerous command. What I'm about to show you guys is, I mean, literally dangerous. There's a command man called pseudo. And if you guys don't know what pseudo means, I don't either, to be honest with you. But what it allows you to do is actually force people to do things. And I mean, you're not just pretending to be them. You could literally force them to type in commands. You can force them to say things and it looks at they, they're actually saying it like they can't stop you. So he says how to pseudo someone. I, again, I don't know what it means. It means you can make someone say something without them saying it, right? But you can also make them input commands, teleport, literally make them do anything in the game. So this guy actually does me. You can put any username that you want on your server or in the world and watch what this does you push it and look it says lover fella command whatever this dude's name is command block tips is the best it looks legit and you can make anyone do anything so i'm going to show you guys how this could get you in trouble right now so i'm going to join my actual minecraft server right play.loverfella.com you guys know what it be watch what's going to happen i have one of my moderators on her name is maya and i'm going to do slash pseudo maya suicide she's literally going to be typing in it herself so watch it's going to say maya died maya died you can see it right under there maya just died but you can make her run literally any command in the entire game so we've got a player on our server her name's marissa maniac kid right great admin on the server we type c colon and then whatever message you want to type so we'll say something like i hereby declare my love for the lover fellow community and server and from this point forward i want you to call me the poop queen now if you watch chat it literally appears as though she just typed that message and she cannot stop me she just said what <laughs> so she's obviously getting a little flustered right now we'll take it up to the next level though and i'm gonna make up a random phone number so basically <laughs> she said i'm being hacked <laughs> she literally just said that okay so yeah pseudo is great guys 10 out of 10 it's one of the best commands in the entire game if you didn't know about it, now you do. My boy claims that you can use these ice walking boots to create secret messages in the water. Something he does makes it so that certain things don't freeze over when you walk over. You see what's going on here? Okay, so guys, here we go. Regular frost walker. We've all seen it. We know what it does. So I did a little bit of tweaking to the boy's uh, weird little command things. So I couldn't get the command to work. It's a little bit easier if you actually just use uh, barrier blocks and you can walk around them and you can spell out whatever secret messages you want to have. For example, on ours, if you can look, you can see that we wrote S18. What's that mean? It means September 18th. It's when the merch drops that's tomorrow folks limited time only you want this cream hoodie it comes out tomorrow um yeah i'll be honest with you guys i don't really like this one don't really see a big use for it i mean it's kind of cool and i'm sure you can make some kind of weird art with it and stuff but like overall eh, well, it's two out of ten. It's not, not, it's not that good. Let's do a better one. You guys have all seen beacons. Y'all know you can stack glass on it and make it rainbow. You even know that you could probably do a little bit of a little redstone engineering and make it rainbow. But did you know you could make a redstone ring of glass around your beacon and power it in a way that creates a beautiful rainbow beacon? So I'm not going to let this thing play out. I'm going to do it myself. We got the repeater. If I did this right, I need to place down redstone here and here. And the beacon should begin to slowly change, which is actually really cool. 
Oh, it's, you know what? I made the colors backwards, so it's a rainbow, but like it's a rainbow that goes backwards. If I remember from the most recent mumbo jumbo build I made, there is this really weird way to actually do that. Here's my mega fast repeater experiment just to see if it even works. Okay, it does work, but what? It, it's not. Oh, this one isn't being powered. Okay, well, I guess there's a limit to how fast you can make this thing go. You can't go this quick. It's cool. I mean, I think it's pretty sweet. You can make this uh, whatever pattern you wanted, and you could have different versions. You could have like signals, like, yo, if it's red and white, we're good. If it's all red, it means something bad's going on. I don't know. It's cool. Seven out of 10. This dude made 3D display cases for his items. And what's really cool about this is you're like, okay, cool. We made a dispenser where it spits out an item. Not quite so simple. He hooked it up to a redstone circuit timer to guarantee your items will not ever despawn. So you can actually make them float there forever in your base. They'll never despawn because of this perfect redstone timer back here. All right, now first things first, obviously your boy knows how to build a simple dispenser thing. So we'll at least build the basics of it uh, before we need to get some help. Okay, so there's your basic design. So his sea lantern is what he puts in the roof. That way you have a nice little glow on your item inside once you ignite it. Now for the redstone trickery. The display case has your item that's gonna sit on a hopper, but he makes a timed hopper retractive. So I'm gonna teach you guys something like crazy. I have figured out what this man has done. No one on the internet has before. So you're about to literally learn how to make a 3D printer. Now, I don't know, guys, if you lose your items, hey, that ain't my fault. All right, it's this dude's fault because he's the one who did it. Okay, so guys, look at this. This is slowly, look at this redstone trail, slowly increasing. You see what's happening right here? Got this sucker figured out. So did a little research, found out that Minecraft items despawn after five minutes. You can use that to your advantage by filling this up with five minutes worth of blocks. In our case, three stacks of 45 blocks. What that's gonna do is create this redstone signal to power this. It's going to spurt out a block. And as you can see, our block happens to be a piece of wood in this case, instead of fancy armor. This is gonna transfer all of these over to the other hopper. It's gonna take four minutes and 50 seconds based on the number that I put in. This redstone block moves back, turning the signal off, which does what? Pulls it down into the hopper, into the, the dropper, back up into the top and then it's going to spit out again. So it's a really interesting design. I wouldn't do this myself. I feel like if you left or logged out or got out of respawn range or I don't know, I just feel like the item would disappear and I wouldn't be comfortable doing it. But if you really want to flex, you could do this. So I'll say a soft eight with a high risk on this one. You could do it, but you might lose your items, but I'll, I'll give it to you. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. So this finally is a Java only version. Usually we don't see Java only hacks. Now, a lot of people, I'm not going to lie to you. They don't really use these mine carts with like chests in them. Like I don't see anyone do it. Maybe I'm weird but this guy says if you build this in the specific way you got three in the back with chests a spot for you and then a furnace and push them together you can actually make a functional train like a literal functional train and it only works on java supposedly so i'm going to test it I, i've never seen this but i'm just happy we finally got one that seems like i can actually do it doesn't seem too bad <laughs> I already messed it up. Let's give them all a link. I didn't even know these things could link. Like, that's the thing. Can these actually link? Is that a real feature? Do carts link? Let's get in her. Right click with coal. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. It's, I mean, it, okay, sure. That definitely moves. But I ain't got no linkage here. What's he talking about? Push them till they link. What's this? What's this magic about linking carts together? Is that? It's just it's kind of underwhelming. I mean, but at least at 1.14, there ain't no minecart linking. So, like, I, I don't, I just don't know how to rate it. I'm confused. Like it's, it's there. It kind of works. Five out of 10. I'm gonna give it right in the middle. This is for all my players that think a clock is stupid. All right. You know, those clocks in the game to show you if it's daytime or not. This is an advanced clock. All right. So we're using yellow and blue wool. And you guys know what that's going to do. It's going to tell you what time it is. All right. You can use the daylight sensor, hook this bad boy up and you can sync them to like the opposites, whatever the time is, that is what's going to show. So you could be underground and hook this kind of thing up with a massive redstone thing. It'd just be kind of a lot cooler than having a clock. Like this is like something you could put in your base. So we set it tonight. It shifts to blue. It's it's simple, but it's just kind of a cool feature. I've never heard of it. So let's just build it. See, I don't use daylight sensors pretty much ever. So this feels really weird to actually be using one for once in my life. I think this one's going to work. I would hope at this point. Okay. So if I put this here, should ignite that one. We're doing yellow for day, black for night. So now if we set it to, let's do midnight. That goes back right away, but our, I mean, you would think a TikTok hack this easy would work on the first try, but the whole redstone thing, it's just not timing right. And so it just makes it super weird. Guys, this is not working on Java. Confirm that it will not work on Java. The guy did it in Bedrock Edition originally, I believe. But at the end of the day, I said clocks were stupid. You know what? I take it back. Clocks are cool. I feel like a little easier solution. Maybe just do that. Pop one of those up on your wall. You literally got yourself an actual functioning clock instead of this stupid, it's, 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 it's even opposite now. So it's there. It's kind of an eh, but it's kind of cool. I like it. Let's go to the next one. Now guys, I saved the best for the last today. Now you might've seen this before. It's called an infinity design. I've done it in a couple videos and Mumbo and Jumbo is the first to do it. But you can take paintings of entire maps, literally paint them any color you want. And when you place them side by side, look at this, ready? Watch, it's all it's all maps and you walk in and this is literally a Minecraft. This is not mods, this is using maps. So I did this recently in a video. I'm gonna show you one that I've already made. I made one under my spawn right here. No one really knows what it is. I call it solitary confinement. So when players break my rules, I send them into here or into jail. This is what it looks like on the 
inside. This is what you get to see when you're in here. That's it. You don't know how big it is. You don't know how to get out. You don't know what's on the other side. It literally makes you go crazy. I, I can't stand this, honestly. Check it out. So Maya is now inside of this as well. So I'll bring another person in as well. You can see what they look like inside of this little torture device down here. Guys, as I said, this is probably the last TikTok hacks video ever because it's getting banned. But before it does, submit your hacks with hashtag lover hacks so that I can use you if there is another episode. As always, subscribe to my channel for daily videos. Lick that screen. See you all tomorrow. Peace. Now, there's another command where we can actually marry people so I can actually force her to marry players on the server. So she just sent out marriage requests to everyone.